Amazes me some of the books the prisoners read. I mean, Henry James? They had to force feed me James in college. Mm. I too thought it odd that Pablo Rosa would want to borrow the ambassadors. He's 18. In for murdering a classmate. Nice to know he's expanding his horizons. Turn the book over. Is that blood? He clubbed his cellmate with it. Pablo Rosa, huh? What cell block's he in? Why? I know you want to help people, but you can't reach a kid like that. Which is exactly why I should try. Doesn't your boyfriend worry you coming in here every day? Is that your not-so-subtle way of asking if I'm involved? Yes. Well, Robert, to me, men are like books. Sometimes I want a romance, sometimes a thriller, sometimes maybe a trashy novel to take to the beach, and sometimes I want a classic. But when I finish, it's back on the shelves and on to the next. You've never been married. <laughs> oh, no. And maybe you're reading too fast. I'm voracious. Pablo Rosa, convicted December 22nd, 2002, involuntary manslaughter, sentence 18 years, up for parole in 10. Pablo? Come on in. What do you want? I've been reading through your records. You're 18 with 18 years left on your sentence. I get parole in 10. Okay, so how do you want to spend that time? Fast as fucking possible. The thing is, Pablo, that's not an answer. Any more than this is a weapon. Did the job pretty good if you ask me? Not the job it was meant to. Tell me, can you read? Sure. Do you enjoy it? No. Books are just shit teachers give you. So you did go to school? Sometimes. But not always because you hated the shit your teachers gave you, right? Uh-huh. Well, you can't expect everyone to enjoy the same things. So what I'd like us to do is find a book that's right for you. Why? Because when we do, it'll make the time fly, and that's what you want. Tell me some other things that interest you. Like what? Like pussy and baseball? Well, now we're cooking. Just call for? Finish the book. That was fast. It was good. Funny. Well, sit down and tell me what you liked about it and what you didn't. I can't right now. I got some business to attend to. Business? I'll come back tomorrow. In the meantime, can you find me another book? On baseball? Whatever. As long as it's funny and good. So I did good by you with ball four. I hit a home run. I like the beaver shooting. Where the players drew the holes in the doors of the hotel room and watch the stewardess fucking. Yeah, well, it was fun for the guys, but how would you like to have been on the other side? What they did was an invasion of privacy. Ah, whatever. Whatever. Now, this is a very good book about women. And I thought something wilderness-based into thin air might be a nice antidote to Oz. Do I look like a fucking Boy Scout? Scout? No. Boy? Yes. I'll just be a minute. Robert, I'd like to talk to you. When I told you about my breast cancer, 
I wasn't asking you to watch me waste away and die, Robert. I don't need you for that, if that's what you're afraid of. I know about Alex Jr. This isn't that. I know you're thinking you can't go through the grief again, but what if you're missing the chance to go through the joy? The joy of being there for someone who is going to make it. According to Blake, they go hand in hand, joy and grief, piping down the valleys wild, remember? Stop being an asshole. She's talking to your man. Show some respect and talk back. That's enough, Pablo. Take your book. We're done for today. Over here. What do you want today, Pablo? I want to know what the fuck your problem is, man. I mean, why are you treating Missy like a bitch? She's not a bitch. That's right. She's a nice lady. She's helping me bite out my time, and yet you're bringing her the fuck down. And the cancer? It ain't that big a deal. That's right. She told me yesterday. I guess she needed someone to talk to since you were acting like my younger fucking sister. Maria freaked when my mom got breast cancer. Of course, she was eight. And me mother. She squashed that disease like it was a cockroach. I bet that's something you can identify with. Anywhere from Stella? No. I, I thought she'd be done with the surgery by now. Sometimes hospitals get backed up. Hey, bookworm. Bookworm! Let me read another book, fag. Ignore him, Pablo. Fuck that. Ms. Carfo, ATSEG is a restricted area. I want to see Pablo Rosa. Oh, he's not allowed any visitors. But I work here. Those are the rules. How do we get the rules changed? Just this once. I don't know. Talk to someone higher up. Who? I don't know. He pretends to be a tough guy, but he's not. Pablo's just another terrified kid. And I'm afraid what's going through his head right now, sitting alone in that hellhole. What would you like to happen? Well, at the very least, get him some books to read. Mm. They'll never allow him to have books in the hall. But there's always a way to finagle something. How much cash do you have? Pablo, can you hear me? Missy? You're okay? I'm fine. And you? I'm going sort of crazy. Well, I'm here to help you with that. How? I'm going to read to you The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Chapter One. Tom plays, fights, and hides. Tom, no answer. Tom, no answer. What's gone with that boy, I wonder? You, Tom! The old lady pulled her spectacles down and looked out over them, about the room. Then she put them up and looked out under them. She seldom or never looked through them for so small a thing as a boy. <laughs> 